Hey, what's going on, good people? Armand Owens here once again with another episode of the Daily Unsung Leader. Um, and today, I want to talk about a little principle I um, I picked up um, a few years ago called the hindsight window. Hindsight window. Um, so early on in my life, I used to have a uh, very big problem with my temper. Um, and one of the things that my temper would um, keep me from doing is... Uh, finding solutions to the issues, you know, that I was encountering. Um, so <clears throat> I would get upset about, you know, insert thing here. Um, and I would stay mad about it for a very long time. Um, I remember uh, growing up uh, and had a, you know, had an altercation with my brother um, when I was about 10 years old. And uh, I held that thing against him to, you know, well until I was probably 17, 18. Um, I was really good at holding, you know, holding on to grudges, holding on to things. Um, well, I carried that over into my, my military career and uh, I would really stay upset about things for a long time. And then I started to recognize how negative of an impact that had on my ability to make decisions. Um, and, you know, just by happenstance, I'm, you know, as I'm, you know, trying to, uh, shed light on my own insecurities, my own limitations, my own blind spots, you know, I come across a principle, um, by the, and the guy's name is Eric, uh, Middies, but, uh, he talks about how when he gets upset that, um, instead of wallowing, you know, in the in the pain of it and the frustration of it, you know, in the emotional state of that circumstance, uh, give yourself enough time, give yourself a time period, you know, to be upset. So how this will look is you have an incident, a, you know, something occurs where, you know, you, the, the immediate emotion that is, um, understood is, is anger. Um, and, you say, OK, I recognize I acknowledge first and foremost, you acknowledge the feeling, you acknowledge the emotion that happens, you know, acknowledge, hey, I am angry about this thing. Um, and in that acknowledgement, you move on to the second step is, OK, I'm going to give myself insert amount of insert, you know, this amount of time to be upset. So you're going to give yourself a designated amount of time, you know, to be upset about something where um, for me, when I started out, it was about, you know, 10 to 20 minutes. I would legitimately, you know, start a clock. Um, and turn on the timer and everything has to be intentional for this to, to train, you know, the muscles to train, uh, to train yourself in this, but it, it started out about 15, 20 minutes where it would really take me a long time to get over what was going on because I know I understood theoretically that I could not move on forward in a problem solving position. I cannot optimize my my mind, my body, my emotional state to get into a place where I could start to be solution minded, vice problem minded. Right. Because ultimately, as leaders, the game is to stay in a solution mindset, you know, at all times, being in a place where your your mind is optimized, your body is optimized, your emotional, your emotions are optimized in a matter so well that uh, any time decisions need to be made, you're bringing your best self you know, to the place where you can make those decisions the best. So when I, when I would stay upset over an occurrence, I would not bring my best self to bear. And so I give myself, you know, so going back to the, you know, to the hindsight window and give yourself enough time, you know, to actually, you know, to just be upset, just give yourself enough time to be upset. And um, once that time frame is over, you begin to ask yourself, how can this serve me? How can this serve me? How can this serve me? Back to those questions. How can this serve me? Um, and you can devise any questions around that. Uh, what good can come from come from this? Because it may not be, you know, a leadership thing that happens. It may you may get a, a, a unexpected bill, you know, in the mail that now uh, instead of your savings that was meant for a thing that you were planning for, now you got to pay for this. Um, and this comes in the mail and now you're upset. You give yourself an amount of time, you know, to, to be upset, 10 minutes to be upset about it. You get to a place where that 10 minutes is up and you say, OK, you know, what good is what good can come of this? What how can this serve me? 
what is what is good about this this scenario? Because even though you're upset, um, just because something that we interpret as bad happens doesn't mean we can't extract you know some goodness out of it. Um, and in that in that scenario, you could extract the fact that hey, I do have at least at a minimum, I do have the savings to be able to pay for it. So, um, and this principle, this this hindsight window, this tool that I've I've utilized has helped me. Number one, you know, not stay mad anymore because now you know when things happen, you know, you have that event that have that stimulus happens. Um, I'm I've moved on from it. It happens. I accept it. I give myself a you know a few minutes now um, to be upset about it. Just to think about it for a minute, but now I'm I'm quickly into the solution mindset, the solution portion, you know, of this of this dilemma, and no longer just staying in, you know, a place of uh, uh, I like to call it emotional quicksand, uh, where nothing happens, nothing moves forward, and you're just sinking further and further, further, further down. The longer you stay upset and angry. Uh, so it's a it's an emotional management tool uh, that I've used uh, for for years and um, it's worked. It's ser- it has served me well. And I just, you know, with a lot of a lot of different moving pieces, we, we live in an environment, a leadership environment that is volatile, uncertain um, and at any time, you know, could could explode. So um, I, I think it is important as leaders for us to remain in a posture where we are ready to go at all times. And this is just a tool to help, you know, remain in that posture. Um, and it's called hindsight window. First thing first, you know, when an event happens, when a circumstance happens, when something occurs that caused you to interpret it as negative, you acknowledge what you're feeling. Get your watch or, or your phone or whatever. Set that timer. Give yourself a designated time to be upset about it. Once that timer is over, you then thirst up, begin to ask yourself, how can this serve me? What is good that can come of this? And how or in uh, any form of that question, right? How can I how can I get better from this? How can I grow from this? Now, it's the progression solution based uh, posture that you're taking. Um, and I'm not saying that there may I'm not saying that after you, that time period, they may not be some. Uh, some, you know, some a little bit of uh, anger that still remains, but you're not staying there. You're moving forward from that place. So, uh, got any questions about that? Please uh, let me know. Um, like, share, uh, comment. Please let me know uh, if you're getting any value out, out of what I'm talking about. Um, I appreciate the feedback so far on on the videos I've been doing, um, and uh, I look forward to talking to you again tomorrow. Unsung Leader out. Peace.